Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Uh, we've got a special one here for you guys today. Uh, we do have a very limited stock of these vehicles. They are all Nissan Interstar R35 single axle uh, tipper vans. So they, this particular vehicle is in the Technograde and it's available now for 25,990. So that's 25,990 plus VAT and your road tax. That is an absolute bargain for a uh, brand, almost brand new tipper. So these vehicles were registered in August, 2023. So it, they will have the balance of a five year manufacturer's warranty. So the five years manufacturer's warranty is a comprehensive cover from day, the same level of cover that you get on day one all the way through to uh, year five. We're quite often asked about the warranty and it is a fully comprehensive warranty. So it covers you for, for almost everything. It's a, uh, a lovely package for somebody who's looking for a tipper especially at that price 25,990 uh, being a rear wheel drive model it is capable of also towing two and a half tons as well what we want to do on this video is just go over some of the specification with you so what we'll do we'll start with the front so we've got a uh, standard with this specification uh, front fog lights uh, we get the little santa cap on the wheels nice big wide view mirrors automatic lights and wipers built into the top there We've got our signature V-Motion Nissan grille with a big Nissan badge in the middle. It's coming around the side. So I say, this is a tipping body and it is a factory conversion, which is lovely. So you have the uh, factory warranty throughout the whole of the vehicle, including the conversion. So to unlock the vehicle, you get two keys, press the button to unlock it. And when we open up the driver's side door, so we're greeted by a lovely cabin. I really like this new design. So we'll start off with the sat nav unit on this one, and then we'll start, uh, we'll go around the vehicle. So, starting the vehicle up, we have 58 miles of uh 58 miles completed on this vehicle so as i say these are delivery mileage vehicles so they'll have only the delivery mileage to get over to you wherever you are from where from us we've got a control box on the back here with the steering wheel so what we do is pull the lever to mute the audio volume up volume down there's a little scroller on the back here as well which will let you go through your audio channels or your uh, tracks whichever you prefer you can switch your media uh, so up there and your voice commands if you press and hold the button that'll go through your voice commands as well and switch your uh, different radio types we, we do have digital radio built into these vehicles as well so your sat nav unit itself that's what it looked like so if we go into map we get uh, satellite navigation by navitel uh, that's built in with the vehicle and the uh, you can also use your Android Auto on a CarPlay using a cable once you've connected up. Down here, we've got our eco button. So if you activate the eco button, that will show up on the dashboard and that will keep the vehicle in its e most economical driving mode. We've got hazard lights in the middle. There they go. And then your central locking. So we activate that whilst we're driving and that will central lock us as well. We've got air conditioning built into these vehicles as well, which is lovely in this weather. So um, we'll just switch a bit of that on to be fair. So uh, your climate control is in the middle and then your air con is the button in, that's right in the middle there and then your direction of the fans. We've got a storage compartment up at the top. Nice amount of storage in the top here. As I say, these are available now for 25,990. And you're getting all of this spec as standard so the sat nav and the uh, cruise control which is on the steering wheel driver control speed limiter uh, android auto carplay these are the latest euro 60 fully compliant engines so as you can see on the left hand side just here uh, that is your ad blue level so the vehicle will come in with a will be delivered to you with a full tank of ad blue your auto lights oh sorry there's your wipers and then your auto lights are on this side here so 
I'll just show you something else within the cabin before we tip the vehicle for you. So I really like this feature on these vehicles. So what we've got is a middle folding seat. So when we're not using the seat, we can have a swiveling table on the back of it, which face towards the driver. Two little cup holders on the back there. And then underneath both passenger seats, we have a little storage compartment. So you can store things in here. Fold that back down. And then your glove box with your book pack in there as well. So we'll just have a look at that. So that's how your book pack would arrive. Nice neat packaging. And then all of your books are in here as well, including your user guide and the sat nav guide, as well as your service book. Which we'll pop that back in here. We have a 12 volt socket for charging things as well, which is nice. And then what we have is a fuel tank on this side. So diesel goes in on this side and on the opposite side, we'll have the AdBlue tank. So that'll be on the driver's side. Now, um, the, the interesting part with these is obviously the tip of body. So uh, being a conver factory conversion, you can drop the sides on this as well, as well as dropping the back. If you are tipping with this particular vehicle, obviously what we, what the rec manufacturer recommends is that we tip with the latch unhooked. So um, the, you'll see in a second how, what we mean by that. So we, we'd have to, what we're doing is we're tipping through the, uh, the lower part of the rear tip, drop side. Having a look at the bulkhead, we have some uh, tie down hooks on the top there as well. And we can put um, load things on, on the top across from the back. It's a maximum of 400 kilos on that. The payload on the vehicle is just over a ton. So we still can fit a ton onto this vehicle. So the control unit for the tipper, tipper body is just in here. Again, all of the tipper body being a factory conversion, it's nice that it's all covered under the warranty. So what we'll do is we'll show you how to tip the body. So press and hold this button here. Excuse the noise. So that's just completely tipped up. We'll put the control unit back in here. And we'll walk around the vehicle so you can see exactly what's happened. So that, if the tailgate has been released there, you can see, and that's where you tip from. Now, a lot of people will end up having a tow bar fitted to these vehicles, seeing as though they can tow two and a half tons. You may want to tow a little digger or something like that with you. Um, you can do that, but you, we, again, we'd recommend that you tip through here rather than uh, drop the tailgate and tip that way. Obviously you'd end up catching the tow bar, so just be wary of that. And then what we've got here is our, is our arm. So that arm would go into that slot there if you want to keep it at a certain height. And then our isolated switch is just here as well. So yeah guys, if you are interested, these vehicles are available. I don't think they're gonna hang around for a long time. They are up for 25,990. Uh, this one, we've just literally taken an order from. So I wanna give a shout out to Able Facilities Services based in Wolverhampton. Um, Scott's great there. He's just popped in, had a look at one. Uh, he said it's the right sort of vehicle for him. So he's just gone ahead with that. And we're looking forward to delivering this to him uh, next Monday. So. Uh, he'll be on the road with this and I'm sure he's putting some uh, livery on this as well. So we'll get some more pictures and do a video of that for you guys as well. Thank you for watching. See you guys. Bye.